Okay, let's go ahead and get back to nutritionist and celebrity health coach Karina Heinrich to tell us more about the spring fruits and veggies that we should have in our carts. Karina, we're glad you can hear us now. Glad to have you <laughs> back with us. Uh, so, of course, we got to get straight to it. Talk to us about some of the benefits of eating uh, specific produce during its peak season. Yes, it's so important. Enjoying vegetables and fruits during peak season has so many benefits. Seasonal produce has more nutrients because it often doesn't have to be transported as far, which also makes it better for the environment because it travels shorter distances to reach us. Plus, it supports local businesses, farmers markets. You can stay locally grown seasonal produce at farmers markets, your grocery store. You can also save money because you're eating produce at its peak availability, and it's just delicious. I was going to say, yeah, the prices have to be a, a lot more favorable, too. Uh, so what are some of the absolutely. spring produce must-haves? Yes, yeah, so I absolutely love fruit. So the most nutrient-dense and healthiest spring fruit choices are things like cherries, apricots, avocados, grapefruits, kiwi, mango, oranges, strawberry, pineapple. So lots to choose from when it comes to vegetables, which I always try to get my three kids to eat vegetables, arugula, asparagus, beets, spinach, artichokes, carrots, cauliflower. So it's really fun to get to out there to those, you know, markets and kind of touch and feel and pick what you like best. There's so many options. Is that going to vary by, say, region? Are you going to have certain fruits and veggies that are going to be better for the Northeast versus, say, the Southeast or the Southern Plains? In general, it depends on what, yes, your local farmer's markets are growing, but you really can nowadays find everything. Um, I, I feel like in the Midwest, we can find all of this natural spring produce. So it does depend where you live, but I think there's a wide variety to choose from. Awesome. Now, for anyone who may not know, could you explain the Clean 15 and, and the Dirty <laughs> Dozen? Yes. So there are fruits and vegetables that are naturally dirtier the way not dirty, but the way they're in the soil or things that get on them. So this list stays fairly consistent year to year, but it's good for you to kind of Google it, look it up, print it out. Now you want to make sure you are cleaning them extra well. So things like strawberries, spinach, cherries that you may not know are part of the dirty dozen. You need to take extra measures to clean them, even if you're buying organic. Now, what extra measures would, would be uh, something they would recommend to clean those things? Yeah, so regardless if we're in a pandemic or not, we should be taking these extra measures because research shows that there can be up to 30 hands on our produce before we even get it home, which sounds a little overwhelming. So we want to make sure that anything we're going to consume or even cut into, I like to use a do-it-yourself cleaning solution. Researchers found that using baking soda is the best way to clean your produce. So you just need a spray bottle, one cup of filtered water, two tablespoons of baking soda, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Pour it all into your spray bottle. Spray your produce. Let it sit for around five minutes and wash it off. Why I love this is it's all real foods. If you don't wash it off all the way, it's not going to hurt your belly. It's great if you have little kids at home or even babies. So this is proven to clean off any extra pesticides or depending on if it was on a truck or how it got transported. We just want to keep our produce clean before it goes into our bodies, especially for eating vegetables, right? Exactly. You don't want to add anything <laughs> to it that you don't no. want there and you don't want uh, anything left on it you don't want. Okay, so Karina, you know, I, I, there's a joke that I hear people say all the time. They say, you know, I buy that bag of salad once a week so that I can throw it away at the end of the week every time I buy it. Are there any particular like veggies or fruits that have a longer, say, shelf life that if you know it takes you a while to get a, getting around or you only go grocery shopping uh, once a week or something like that? Is there anything that kind of stays longer? Usually when we have a rind on there, we know it's going to stay a little more protected. I like to put a lot of my produce in the refrigerator. If you feel you are that type that's throwing all your stuff away and you're like, why am I spending all this money? I say you can freeze it and it will last in the freezer up to three months. So a lot of this produce can just go in the freezer. If you are one of those people that just can't do that, then buy frozen because it's right at peak. It's it's frozen and it actually has more nutrients than if you're the type to like kind of leave it in your fruit fridge for too long. So there are options if you're that person that throws away all your produce before you get to eat it. Awesome. Now, when it comes to sort of selecting 
uh, the different items, veggies or fruits. What are some of the things, or maybe some key things that we should be looking for when we're selecting those items? So we want to make sure, especially if you're touching and feeling instead of ordering, that you're looking, you kind of learn what everything should be uh, looking like. So like a mango, we want to make sure it's not overly ripe, especially if you're not going to eat it uh, right away. But you also don't want to buy too much. You want to be looking for things print out what I just talked about for the spring selections and try to buy and peak. This is the season. This is the time. If you're ever going to do this, buy things that are that are like uh, right now available instead of things that are grown in the winter and then frozen. Okay. So you want to buy fresh, you want to touch and feel, you want to get inside and just enjoy it. Try new things. Absolutely. Well, friends of the show, Karina Heinrich, thanks so much. You can get more of her lifestyle tips by following the Karina method that's on Instagram.